Welcome back to another edition of Outlaw Frags, where today we're going to do something a little bit special. Yeah. Actually, this is another reviewer request. Yeah, we, they wanted us to pick apart one note and kind of concentrate on the one note. So you what's our note of the day? We'll tell you once we do the intro, and we'll be right back. We'll be right back. back. The day is iris, which is my favorite note in perfumery, and we've got 10 fragrances in front of us. So it's like a top 10 iris note yes. in your collection. Yes. And these are, like I said, these are all in my collection, and then there's two of them that I don't have a whole lot of exposure to. We just picked up, we talked about it in our, our haul. We just did a haul video. You got it. So what we're going to go through... And you're going to have to excuse Russell. He's still sick. Your nose isn't working too well. Matter of fact, we normally record on Mondays. Today is Monday. Yeah. We usually start probably, what would you say, about 1 o'clock? Yeah, about, about just afternoon, 1 o'clock. Yeah, and Russell, it's n just now getting here, and it's, what, about 6? It's uh, almost 7 o'clock, or yeah. almost 6 o'clock. So at least he showed up. No, nope, five past six. So. Five past six. So we're kind of rushed for time. So we hope you enjoy this, and you're gonna have to deal with Russ's. What would you say? Um, Congestion. Yes. My sinuses are now your sinuses. <laughs> His olfactory system is is um, what is, I'm looking for an adjective um, handicapped. He has a handicapped olfactory system. So we're gonna go through these. I'm gonna let him smell them. Some of these he's never smelled before. Matter of fact, most, I think most of these of he hasn't yeah. smelled before, with the exception of Blue Fire over here. Because we were gonna do a house overview on this one of these days. And we still are. And, um, these two you just picked up. We, yeah. We didn't even spray them. During yeah, I haven't sprayed the either one of these video because, like he said, I can't barely smell it right now. But we're gonna depend on his sense of smell. Yeah, so what, you're all screwed, so buckle up, Cowboys, here we go. <laughs> Woo! Here we go, Cowboys. So We're going to go ahead one, and start with this one. And this is Dior Home. This is the original from the Dior line, and this one, I believe, is from 9, 2014. And your batch code is 5001. Yeah. Or 5Q01. And the easiest way to tell this one from the original is the original will have a silver stem. Because you see the black stem in that bottle? Pretty good black stem. Yeah, the atomizers. Yours are known for wonderful atomizers. Because you see that black stem, that lets you know right away that that's the second generation. I can smell it from here. It is so buttery, smooth, and just absolutely rich. Like clean, too. Yeah. Rich. It's got a backy note of leather in the base that kind of pops out. But for me, the whole thing that just makes me... How long does it take for the leather to come out? Because I'm not picking leather up. Yeah. Um, probably within, I would say, two hours when you get into the mid notes and the base is when the leather... And it's not like an in-your-face leather. So maybe like a suede leather, something yeah, soft. Yeah, something like that, something soft. But I absolutely, this is actually, this one right here is the first one that exposed me to this line. I had a guy give me a, con uh, give me a contact, give me a decant of this that was actually labeled as that. Oh, so you went to go buy it and then ended up with this instead. Yeah, I went, well, yeah, actually I bought it thinking that it was this, uh, actually thinking it was that, but it was actually this. And it's got Dior Home written all the way around. All the way around it, yeah, and it was a decant, so I, uh, I know when the first the first minute sniff, I fell in love with it. This is just absolute decadence for me. I absolutely love this one. And this is your favorite note that we're covering, just so yeah. everyone out there knows. Absolutely, Iris in this form, is absolutely probably the one single note that I enjoy the most. I okay. wish you could smell it and really, really be able to appreciate that. And we, we just kind of put them in order and I kind of just lined them up the way they're lined up. So we're yeah. just going to go from our right to our left, which is... Your right to your left. Right. The opposite for you guys. Yeah. So I'm going to try and show these atomizers as we're going. And this one is uh, Prado Lone, and this one is Prado Lone Low, I 
think. I now always this, get them confused. This one's got um, now this like is the same almost vibe to it. Yeah, it's got the the iris. This and this one right here, your own O, are really really similar. Lone Prado Low. Yep, that's Prado Lone Low, and this one has got to be just Prado Prado Lone. Yeah, I think Lone, so. Lone Prado. Yep. And this, when it comes to the, the Nota Iris, is very soft. It's not as lipsticky as the original. And then this has got a wonderful backing, is what I would I think. I can pick up a lipsticky vibe from that one. Yeah. But uh, it doesn't come across as being uber feminine. You know, a lot of guys will say, well, it smells like a cosmetic bag. It doesn't come across to me that way. What it does is it comes across as extremely smooth and Clean. buttery and silky. Now the Prada is comes across with the scent of Iris, but they are absolutely the kings of making a clean soap provider, soapy fragrance, and that's exactly what this is. This is absolutely a wonderful fragrance for wearing in an office or any time really that where you want to wear something that is not overbearing. I think Iris in a whole would be a good office. You know, because it's a non-offensive and it's it's one of those draw you in type scents. Yeah, I, I think, mean, I think for most me it of is. these, um, I know this is considered a date night and we'll get to that one when we get to it, but I think most of these would be an office safe. I don't think you could be able to offend with any of these, do you? Um, this one right here, and this one is your own parfum. Okay. And this one has the potential to maybe put somebody off because with the rest of these, there's a certain amount of sweetness that goes along with them, and there is absolutely no sweetness. This is heavy leather. Well, we'll get to that one then. And we're just gonna skip into Givenchy Gentleman. And that one is one of that I really enjoy, and it has a, up That's front a nice is a, a lot more spices, and then as it gets into the mid and the dry down, that buttery iris that I like so much, really comes forward. I like the opening. Yeah, it really is nice. There's some people that don't like this. I actually traded this for this bottle from my buddy, uh, Mark. You know who you are, my friend. Mark. Yep. Marky Mark. And uh, I had a bottle of uh, Terry Mugler Cologne, you know, the green machine, or they call it the Hulk, the Hulk. And he was interested in that because he don't like the opening of this. And I absolutely love it. Yeah, I like the opening on that one. That one's, yeah. that's got a nice opening. Yeah, it's got a whole lot more spices to it. It's it's. I can smell this one. Can you? Well, yeah, it's got a. Good. It's a little bit more. What would you say in your face? Let's do a little light yeah. show for it. Little light show and have them spin. But absolutely, it ah. still has that buttery iris that I am so addicted to. It's absolutely yeah, a it's, wonderful it's fragrance. It's like a creamy. Yes. It's a good opening, but I really got to sniff in. Sorry, and it's not because of the fragrances. It's his head is all messed up. <sighs> yeah. Well, our heads are messed up anyways, but his is actually messed up. Yeah, it's my sick. nostril. So this one is Dior Homme Sport. Sport. Yes, and Talk this is 2014, 2016. So with the history of Dior Homme Sport, when it first came out, it didn't have an iris note. And this then when Francois Dimashi, I believe, redid the fragrance as the in-house perfumer for Dior, he added it back into the formulation, which I am a big fan of. Again, 2000, really clean. Yeah. 2017, when they came out with their last reformulation, they took the iris out of it again. So there is no iris in the present day formulation. This is a wonderful sports fragrance, or this is a wonderful. So if you bought this today, it's not going to be in there. No, it is not at all. Yeah, this is absolutely, if I'm going to go just run around and be casual and just want to smoke this, no, it's amazing. Absolutely wonderful. For my for my taste. Right. You know, a lot of people like the, the 2017 formulation without the iris. And the new catchphrase here lately in um, Fragcom is everything's subjective. Yeah. We've been saying that for a while. That, um, but what I get may be a little bit different from what you get. Me yeah. having a cold, definitely I'm getting yeah. different than what you're Huge. getting. Uh, you know, do you moisturize, not moisturize? How much water do you take? Everything's yeah. kind of subjective kind of. once it goes on your skin. So I like it though. I really yeah, like I that. really, really do. And to me, like the Dior products aren't cheap at all. Not even remotely. 
Well, but they I, start off at like a hundred a piece, don't they? Yeah, easily. If you go to if you can find them in like Dillard's, they're above a hundred bucks. Um, let's see. You have DHI. This uh, one. Your own intense. Yeah. The go next go. one we're going to talk about isn't even available in the states. You got to kind of know someone. That you got to know someone. someone. Yeah. Now I've talked about this repeatedly on on the channel. This is my comfort scent. This is the one that I come in here at night if I'm gonna spray something and go to bed. I sneak in here real quiet, get over there, and I'll spray this. To me, this is the quintessential iris fragrance for me. And those of you that have been with us for a while, we did the um, Scent Explorer video with Colin. Yes. You see, I'm going to get it right this time, even though I've got a cold. And Amanda. And uh, I believe this was the one that they said was their favorite out of your, yeah, your out line of that. that they had won. Yep. And I can understand because this and is... this isn't as strong as... What the difference is, the opening. You're being able to pick up the spices out of the Giovanni yeah, because your nose, nose is... This is much sweeter. It's way more smooth. So are you, are you saying this one's creamier? Yeah, when you're saying smooth, is that? The, well, it's actually the the olfactory texture I get out of it, which is kind of crazy. But most people kind of no, because we've said sharp, we've said yeah, you know abrasive. It's, we've, it's way smooth. Keep sharing the card, and he's gonna get. I'm gonna sick. get sick. He said that the last video. He said, "Man, I shouldn't be sniffing the card after you." Yeah. To me, I absolutely. It's like I love that stuff. That's nice. Yeah. All right, we're going to hit your leather one then. Okay, now this one is not available in states. You your have own parfum. No. <clears throat> now this one that has zero sweetness to it. It is zero, so I just be able to leather and Good. iris. I really like it. I wish there was a little bit more sweetness or a sweet undertone to it because there is zero. this is a super dry oh, fragrance. It's got like a bonfire. Yeah, it's very, very, very dry. It is extremely... Like I'm at my cottage. Yeah. When we started the, the fireplace. This one is very elegant. Um, when I smell this, I think of somebody, or the mental images pop up of somebody very, very, very well dressed. I mean very, like dressed to the oh, nines. Nice. And you gotta stop doing that. You're gonna get me sick. <laughs> Man, he'll be all over here. Yeah. I'll be like... Yeah, he'll be fine. We're gonna pass it back and forth. But when the, <coughs> the mental images of this is, like I can see a very, very well-dressed, middle-aged man that's extremely successful, wearing a $1,000 suit and a $1,000 pair of shoes, this is what he's wearing. Yeah. I don't have no $1,000 shoes. I don't either. I don't have anything that you can put on and wear that's $1,000. But I, I those, are, those are the mental images that come to mind when I smell that. I really like it. You can tell that I have worn some out of this bottle, you know. But when it comes to comes to between that and your own intense, you can definitely tell that there is a preference between the two. I like this one. Yeah, it is. It's very, very, very high class. The next one is Dior Homme O, and this is O for men. Yes, this is much more. What would you say? Um, much more summer appropriate because a lot of these are so really lighter. heavy. Yeah, it still and is. I like these atomizers. Yeah, Dior has the best atomizers in the game. It is very. It's still extremely creamy and thick and buttery smooth. But light. But lighter, yes. That's why I was saying this and this have a lot of things in common. This doesn't have the soapiness that you would associate with that product, but they're kind of, uh -uh, I'm not getting sick. <laughs> but they're really close. They're not the same, but they're very, very similar. The things that I yeah, would they're not a duplicate. No, not at all. But they would both fill the same shoes when it comes to your fragrance wardrobe. And this is getting soapy at this point. Oh, the product. But I didn't catch the soap yeah. right off the bat. Yeah, it's very, very clean, soapy. It's a very, very, I mean, the products are wonderful. If you're going to dress up, put a clean white shirt on, or if you're in a suit, products are absolutely wonderful for that environment. 
And I gotta say, the notes, though, I mean, you're right, I'm catching the same... That same iris through iris. everything. So, let's go to the date. Yes. And, and this is Everyone gonna... hates the cap, and so I'm... let's point that out, because it's not really a cap, it's... It's, it's like, like a, a safety spray. Anti-spray type. Yeah. I don't even know how it goes. There you go. And the new I bottles, like the new bottles don't come with that. They actually come with like uh, the pull ring, like the grenade for um, spice bomb. They come like that. Now this is going to be very, very have a huge resemblance of Dior Home Intense. And I oh that I, yeah that that like might is nice, isn't it? No, I don't. Oh but no. Watch what it does. It like streams two different streams. One's going to go up. One's going to go down. Oh yeah, I see it. Wow, so, I can really smell it. Oh, okay, well that's three sprays. That smells so good. That way you don't have to smell after me. <laughs> you just slide it on the top, yeah. Just slide it down, there you go. Like that? All that's the way. not right. Nope, keep going. Just slide it down some more. No, because I'm going to spray it. Because there's like a lip. <laughs> this is... Look inside there, there's like a lip. Yeah, there's a ridge. In Turn it upside down, go. turn it around. You can see it so there. if you take that and spin it to where these flanges are on the bottom, there you go. Much better. Yeah, I hate those. Okay. Everybody that has has got a hold of this bottle, nobody likes the the caps that come with this. Oh, I like that. Yeah, the opening is a little bit different than DHI, which is your home intense. In case I you, you miss that when I keep referring to it as DHI. And we keep saying the name, but this is Valentino Homo Intense. Homo Intense. Yes. Okay. Yeah, because sometimes we get excited and we'll skip over something. We know what the heck it is, but y'all don't know. And then uh, it, James does a real good job trying to put names on the screen. And but we're not trying perfect. to put them in the description. And yeah. We're so not perfect. We try to skip something. Make sure you check the description. Look for it somewhere on the screen. And or AH will leave us a comment letting us know. And we'll fix it. We will fix it. Or try to do better. We're always striving to do the best we can. I'm starting to go nose blind to that one. And Are you? It might be just my nose is... That, I think a, a little bit has to do with the, the fact that you're smelling kind of this variations same. of the same scent over and over. Same scent. Okay. This one is... What did we say the name of this one was? Just Lone, Prada Yeah, Lone. Prada Lone. So this is the black back, yep. and the first one was the blue back, just so you're, if you're keeping track. That's how I kind of keep track when different reviewers are doing it. Yeah. I'm a big fan of this Much entire line. Better. I have a 10 mil official uh, decant of Prada Lone Intense, which is a much spicier version that I really enjoy. I like it for more of a date. Now this could be, I'll just say, uh -uh. It could just be my nose, but <laughs> this is lighter than, and it may be because we're now getting towards the end. Yeah. I'll spray this. You but keep that nose, one, Mr. Typhoid season to yourself. Uh, it's silence. Just silence. Famous last words. <laughs> yeah, there is definitely a difference between the two, which is yeah. good because I would be upset if, because these are not cheap. By any stretch of the imagination, they're not as bad as some of the But it's got the, the same niche. DNA. Yes. It it's is just, to me, this seems lighter. Yes, I will this. agree with you 100%. And then the last one we have here is good old Happy Land Studios. And this one is Blue Fire. Blue Fire. And this one is a self-proclaimed Iris Mom from EJ. Now... We, if you guys watched the, his sprayers, are those are phenomenal. Beyond reproach. Yes, this is not my favorite fragrance. It is not a bad fragrance, but you're about to tell everybody that the iris that you smell congruently through all of these is missing in that one, isn't it? Yeah, I don't pick it up. In this not one. at all. But this and has it could be a, a iris. background supporting note. That's what I was about to say. This has iris in it. It's just not iris heavy. It's not in the forefront. Yes. And even throughout the whole life of the fragrance, it really doesn't pop its way, pop its way to the front. It's, to me, it's a supporting note. But this is still an iris fragrance. I'm trying to see if it matches anything. No, it doesn't. Because I am extremely, what would you say, well-versed when it comes to what I like when it comes to iris. So it is not an iris 
what would you say? Bomb. It's not an iris bomb in the way that I look at iris or what my brain perceives to be iris. You know, every one of the nine fragrances that we talked about before this is because you can tell it, you can recognize it through each one. Yeah, each one of them. Yes. You could, you could pull that out, definitely. Yeah. But this is still, like I said, this may not be my favorite fragrance, but this is still a good fragrance. EJ, yeah. when he talked to me about it, was like, this is an iris bomb. Each and every one of us, um, what would you say, interprets fragrance a little bit different. So this might be an iris bomb to EJ. When he smells it, it might really be predominant to his nose. Right. It's just not to mine. It's not a bad fragrance. I still recommend it to people. It's just not one that I would probably, if I'm looking for an iris bomb, I've got a whole you bunch. Pick one of these. Yes. But I'm still glad that I have it. So with that being said, we're going to look over here. We appreciate the fact that you are here with us. Thank and you. you have stayed to the end of this video. We were we should, we oh, I can't speak English again. Appreciate it. Yeah, that's right. So do us a favor, like, comment, subscribe. Make sure to smack the holy living snot out of the bell. Smack the shit out of the that's bell. That's right. So he can clear his nose. And we will see you guys on the next video. We will talk to you soon and thanks for being here with us. We'll see you on the next one. That's right.